Good day everyone. Today we will be discussing an important topic, renal cell carcinoma, RCC, also known as an hypernephroma. It is most commonly seen in males between the age groups of 50 to 70. Now the risk factors: the cigarette smoking, NSAIDs like aspirin and paracetamol, chronic renal failure, acquired cystic diseases. Important question from exam point of view is one hippel lindau syndrome, which is due to VHL tumor suppressive gene. Now the gross examination. The kidney is large with a mass seen in the upper pole. Now a histological examination shows areas of hemorrhage and necrosis on a yellow mass. Now I'd like to mention a few points about the anatomy. The right renal vein is shorter than the left renal vein. Hence the right renal masses are most likely to cause an obstruction of the inferior vena cava where these veins drain. The obstruction of inferior vena cava can result in bipedal edema and torture cities on the abdomen and also a cluster of symptoms which is known as an inferior vena caval syndrome. Now there are many varieties of renal cell carcinoma. The most common variety being a clear cell carcinoma with polygonal cells and clear cytoplasm. Now the papillary and chromophobe carcinoma are less frequently seen. The sarcomatoid variety which is rarest and having the poorest prognosis is an extremely dangerous variety. Now how does the patient present to you? The patient presents with a triad. Almost 10% of the patients have this. The patient has hematuria, palpable renal masses, and flank pain, and is accompanied with paraneoplastic syndrome due to ectopic hormone secretions. The home production from the kidneys, that is erythropoietin and renin, can result in a polycythemia and hypertensive states. The renal masses can invade into the adrenal gland, causing Cushing syndrome. The kidneys are the excretion houses of the calcium. In, which, uh, in this case, it can result in an increase in the calcium in the blood, causing hypercalcemia. There can be excessive feminization or vascularization due to gonadotropic hormone imbalances. I would like to specially mention a few points from the exam point of view. Secondary amyloidosis, leukematoid reactions and eosinophilia are also uh, caused by renal cell carcinoma. The incidences of metastasis in this case is extremely high and the patient that presents to you can also have a very poor prognosis.